today we are making Yeonji's cute little granny bonnet that she wore in her interview with Jaehyun and Manon's cat hat that she wore in one of the Dutch 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 dance videos because it's a cat hat and it's easy. We're starting with Manon's because that's how you pronounce her name, right? I knew it was Manon. I didn't know. I was guessing it was Manon and then I was like, oh shoot, the cat's what are cat size um, fans called? I don't know yet. But I was like, oh, they're gonna get mad at me. But then I go to the screenshot and they're literally all wearing their names on their shirt. So very nice. This is easy. So we're starting with this one. It's just double crochet, one row of each color in a cat hat style. If you've never made a cat hat before, where have you been? And the way hers is done is crochet half. So you make a chain this big and then you back and forth crochet until, oh no, shoot. I was gonna do it in the round because I was like, that's easier. But if I do it in the round, can I carry my yarn? So if I'm stitching and then I stitch my green and then I come back to the green and then it's red and I use the red da -da 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 -da, and I come back. Yes, I can still carry my yarn. I'm going to do it in the round. <laughs> it's not like hers. Hers does have seams. If you want to do it like a big long rectangle, then fold it over and then seam it up the sides. Be my guest. Be my guest. Be my guest. I need to get my crochet hook. I really want to use this one. It's my, I forgot what these are called. Whatever these are called. It's been a while since I've used it. It's a beautiful color. I just want to use it because I don't want to use my cheap hooks. Even though I don't think there's much of a difference for me personally. But my cheap hooks are like in a plastic container thing that I was too lazy to open. But this is a five millimeter hook. So I'm thinking maybe it won't be small enough because these are pretty small stitches. It looks like pretty small yarn, smaller yarn than I have. What I have here is a weight four, but I feel like you guys probably just use weight four too because that's the most common. This weight four though is the, this yarn is kind of wrecked for me winding it, but it hasn't even been that long. Anyway, this yarn is, from what is it pound pound of love yes so it's on the thinner side for weight four like i would say it's almost a weight three <sighs> so what i'm going to do this is actually the start of 100 hats that i'm going to be crocheting i'm gonna be crocheting 100 hats don't even try to talk me out of it. But if you have more hats that you come across that you're like, wow, I really want this to be a video, then let me know because I'm going to be crocheting 100 hats over the next month. These are my two first hats. I will be filming a video encompassing all the hats, but like if there's videos of like specific hats you want me to make, I will make those videos whilst making the hats because I will get bored of making the same basic boring hats over and over again. So if I can make some cool ones, some new ones along the way, that would be awesome. This cat hat obviously isn't very new, isn't very um exciting. <laughs> it's just every time I see something crochet on a K-pop idol that is super easy to make, I'm like, I gotta make that. So that's what this is. Plus I'm obsessed with that song right now, even more so. So my friend just messaged me with freaking Yeonjun being featured in another version of it. So I'm like, yeah, okay. It's been playing on repeat. Why is this so difficult for me? <laughs> I can't use this. I've been working on this blanket for three weeks, just over. So I, I guess I don't know how to use acrylic yarn anymore and it's not. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's been like three minutes and I've, I can't even make a chain. I'm okay. I need to focus. I really should have done a little bit to like test to see if this hook is going to work, but I didn't. So let's, okay. So we want to make it a bit snugger. So I have this fit around me pretty snug. And then also since it's a double or no, okay, no, I can't do that. Cause I'm doing it in the round. So I'm going to take two out and then I'm going to make sure it's not twisted and then connect it. I don't think I've made a cat hat like this before, but I've thought about it if I haven't because it's so much easier because instead of the two seams up the side, you're just doing it across the top and I don't know if it makes a difference too much hopefully not maybe it looks even better because there's no seam the seams on the side of this hat the colors don't even match up what's up with that whoever made this hat hmm anyway I'm gonna crochet this first row and then try it on again actually I didn't even see what color it started with I think it starts with red. <laughs> Do I have to start over? Yeah, it starts with red. But then the other side starts with green. Or like ends with green. And it's folded over so you can't tell anyway. Anyway, if you want it to be authentic, do it in the rectangle and have one end start with red and one end end with green and then sew it together so that it's not matching the colors. I am not going for authentic, I'm going for perfect. I cannot see. <laughs> Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. I feel like a beginner. I don't know what's happening. Is it this hook that I'm not used to using? I switched hooks because I was not used to using that and I didn't want to get used to using that one. Same size, five millimeters, but just a plus. 
plain old Amazon hook. Now, I thought these colors were perfect when I first seen it, but now I'm thinking they are not perfect because the red should be more dull and the, well, I think they should both be more dull. Let me have a look-see. All right, you know what? I think it's fine. I think it's just the lighting. I forgot to try this on, so hopefully. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's perfect. Everything's going super smoothly. This yarn feels weird, but other than that, we're good. I finished crocheting this last night, but I was too lazy to actually put it together. I think this is done. Anyway, I didn't try it on. But I think once that's all sewn up, that would be perfect too. So what I am now going to do is... <clears throat> I'm going to turn this inside out and then I'm going to crochet across the top. Probably slip stitch. I don't really like doing slip stitch, but the it's because it, it like tightens it. So I might end up doing a single crochet across, but no, I'll just try my best. I'll try my best and I will do slip stitch because I don't want it to be like too much of a steam, you know, and get annoying. I am so self-conscious right now because I just got this mean comment about my voice or like the way I talk. I know I don't want to talk anymore. Mm. Also, I'm so freaking freezing. I'm wearing this huge thing but like it's 24 degrees outside today which is crazy here for October but like <laughs> we were just told that the power or not the power the heating's not working right now they're trying to fix it or they have to order a part to fix it or whatever so I don't know how long that's gonna last it's kind of scary but as soon as I heard that I was like oh so cold even though I'm actually sweating I'm shaking but also sweating there we go I did the slip stitch and it didn't get too tight and it's beautiful seamless if you will <laughs> anyway I shall turn this inside out I really like this method of making the cat hats because everything lines up properly I only have to do one seam which means one less end to weave in I'm getting my mom to weave in all the ends of my hundred hats, but I haven't asked her yet, so she is unaware. Let's try this on. We have now finished Manon's hat. Is it pronounced Manon? It might not be. I watched like one video of them like doing stuff. Manon, Manon, Manon. I need to like match this up. <laughs> is it cute? Much, 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 much. This yarn does not feel as nice anymore, I guess. Someone told me not to wind up all my yarn on my video where I wound up all my yarn and then went waited a couple weeks to post it so it's too late. I'm hoping that with putting this like through the wash maybe it'll soften it again so I'm gonna try to wash all the hats that I make because I washed that like cushion cover that I made and it was so soft after it came out. Amazing. Now I'm looking for Young G's picture. I took a bunch of screenshots okay because I was trying to figure out the back. At first I thought it was maybe like solid for a little bit because it looks solid here and then it starts to build around but I think it's just like a granny stitch circle and I'm gonna try to figure out how to make it hood shaped after but I think it's gonna be like the beret that I made for the the boys video so for now I'm going to make the granny squares I really don't want to make this hat, <laughs> this bonnet thing why am I making it because someone asked me to I'm just gonna get a bunch of random colors I think this again is finer yarn but since I don't have finer yarn I have wait for yarn I'm going to just look around and find finer <laughs> wait for yarn and use those just gonna pick out random colors i will figure out what the pattern is and then i will get back to you look i matched the colors almost exactly this is why i love having like so many freaking little pieces of scrap like little bits of yarn everywhere because like, you just it feels good <laughs> when things look exactly the same but anyway i'll go into it a little more in depth but basically this is in a magic ring because it is is together there's no hole in young g's and then it's 12 double crochet in that magic ring and i'm counting the chaining two at the beginning as a double crochet and then in between each of those in the next color you're gonna do two double crochets in each of those spaces and then the next round i did the exact same i kind of thought maybe i would have to redo it and add a chain in between each because you're doing the same thing in the next row as well and it did kind of curl in a little bit but i was able to just do that and it's fine and i don't want it to be too big i don't want it to be too spacey spacey so i think i'm gonna leave it like that and i'm not going to do the white round until the very end till i have all of these done because i believe i can just go around and then go to the next one and go around the next one i actually don't know how many of these i have to make because i did not count there's three on this side i'm assuming there's three on the other side so i have to make six 
So I'll show you now how I did it if that was not good enough. Next one I'm gonna be doing is this one. So I have this pink here. So I'm going to do a magic ring. Actually, I'm gonna move this because then it's just gonna focus on her and not on what I am doing. Sorry if I'm breathing into the mic. I'm very close right now. So then you chain two. This counts as one of your double crochets. And then you're gonna put 11 more double crochets in here. I can't do this leaning over the camera like this. Once you have 12, counting the chain, then you pull this closed, slip stitch into the top of your chain here and fasten off. I have to start over because as soon as I stopped recording, I pulled this again because there was still a little hole and I just ripped it. This makes me so sad because that's not going to ever stay together now. Starting over. Next color is this nice pink and I've done this before in a video and showed how to do it. It's not necessary at all, but I like to do it when you're starting a new color. I like to hold this in place. It's a bit awkward the first time and then wrap this around so I can start my double crochet right away instead of slip stitching like into it and then chaining. So I'm going to go in between the spaces in between. I'm not going into the actual stitches. I'm just sticking it in between these and then I can pull up a loop. This is the awkward part because you're holding this all in place. Go through the first two and then the second two and ta-da you have a double crochet. You didn't have to chain anything so it looks a little neater. And then in each of these spaces I'm doing two double crochet and move on to the next. I am not, what am I not doing? Oh, I'm not doing any chains or anything. I'm just doing two in every space. And if you counted right, you should have 12 clusters of two double crochets. And now I'm gonna slip stitch into this first double crochet and fasten off once more. Next color is purple. My purple is slightly too light, but I have another one that is slightly too dark. So I'm going with the too light one. This next row is exactly the same as the last one so I'll leave that up to your imagination as to how to do that. I'm not putting chains in between each of them but if you want you can try out putting one chain in between. I just didn't want to. Why do more when less works you know? But again we just start this. said I wasn't gonna show you but I'll show you this first little bit. So we do two and again just the spaces not the actual stitches. So then we skip these two because that's a cluster and we go in the space of between the clusters like so. And then we continue that all the way around. If you do it this way, it will likely curl in like this and maybe worry you a bit, but if you just go like this a little bit, it comes all out and we're good. Again, if you want, you can just put the little extra chain in between each of these, but I don't think it's necessary. I finished. And every time I was like, oh, I don't have the right colors. I went over there and I looked and I found it. Beautiful. I'm gonna take a break now because I'm bored and I didn't want to do any more right now. And also I have to babysit. I'm back and ready for action. We are doing the white now. I'm kind of tired. It is 8.16. It's getting close to my bedtime. I feel like chillaxing, but I'm doing brain work. Very minimal brain work, but still. I wasn't gonna show you this part because I didn't want to, but um, just in case people might be struggling. Now we're doing the same thing. We're attaching on, doing our double crochet clusters in between all of these, only this time. Looks to me like it's clusters of three and that rhymes, so it must be true. So we have one here, one cluster of three double crochets. Now we're gonna do another cluster of three double crochets in the next one. And we're gonna be making corners now because we're squaring out our granny square. So we do two clusters of three, that's our sides, and then we do a corner. So for corners, we're gonna do a cluster of three in the space. Ah, la, la, la. Then we're gonna chain two, or whatever your preference for chaining for corners is on granny squares. And then we're going to, in the exact same space, do another three double crochet cluster. So just three double crochets, no chains. Ah, la, la. Stop it. I swear to goodness. And that is our first corner. And then we just continue doing the same thing. I'll do one more side with you and then you're on your own. So we do three double crochet in this space. I don't know if you can even see this. I'm dying. My abs are getting workout right now. Three double crochet in this space. And then in the next one, we're gonna do a corner. So it's corner is three double crochet, two chains, then another three double crochet in the same space. And voila. I'm really hoping that this doesn't end up too big because I made the same amount of little starburst granny squares so. On second thought scratch everything I just said because we should have started with the corner piece so that when we 
fast enough here, then we can, you know, start doing the next section. And I was just gonna slip switch my way over here, and if it was just me doing this, I would slip switch my way back here and just like continue from there. But since you're watching and maybe following along, I'm sorry if you started already. We're starting all over. If you wanna start over with me, that's fine. If you wanna slip stitch all the power to you, I would do that too. But I will start over with you if not. Now we don't have to start all the way over. <laughs> We just have to go back to here because instead of this being our corner, this is going to be our corner. So pretend this is a corner and then this is our two side pieces, okay? So then this is going to be our next corner, right? Because this is our corner, going to be our future corner. There's going to be another one in here by the time we finish. And then these are our two side pieces. And then this is our corner. But it is still the exact same thing that I said, two chain and then another three double crochet. Exact same. Sorry if I stressed you out. So if we do it this way then we end up back in this little corner where we can do our last cluster of three double crochets and then I usually just chain one because the slip stitch seems to like make a little bit of more space and it bothers me if this last bit is too spacey so that is what I do you do whatever you want to do now since I'm not going to detach we are going to continue on into the next piece which I believe is this color if i do remember correctly and how are we going to do this i don't really remember i think i'm going to wrap this around so that we're doing <gasps> i didn't fasten this off properly i knew it just one second so now what you're gonna do is yeah just wrap around and then double crochet like normal you do your first cluster here i believe this is gonna be this corner so then we're just gonna crochet across each of these across here and then down the side and then in around each of these follow my finger it seems confusing it is confusing if you want you can just finish these off all and then crochet or sew them together it is up to you this just saves ends and time if you know what you're doing i don't really know what i'm doing i've only done this a few times and i'm going to experiment a little bit i might mess up first so just give me a moment okay i'm not sure if this is right or not so if you happen to be following along hold your horses don't do this yet until i tell you that it worked i'll test it out for you let me make your mistakes for you or my mistakes for you because i don't want to tell you what to do and then have it be wrong so what i'm thinking is across here i did a cluster into four because i'm thinking this is a corner like half of a corner these are the two side pieces this is half of a corner because i'm thinking whenever you go up this side you go right and do the last corner but maybe that's wrong so again i'm gonna test this out and see if that's what this is and if not then ignore me but you can see here that i've already started to i did my corner and then i'm gonna go around corner go around corner up here finish that corner go in there and finish that corner though i don't know how i'm gonna slip i think that's we'll find out pretty soon if this is gonna work so if this first one doesn't work starting over okay so i think what i've done makes sense so as you can see this is the top and then i finished that and came around and did the sides and went up there and back around and here and around and, blah, blah. and now i'm here so i'll show you what i'm doing so obviously we just finished a corner i just finished a corner and i'm gonna put in the three double crochets these two clusters here in this space and then the next space so those are our two three double crochet clusters and then in the next space is a corner and then going up this way just normal you know you're just doing your three double Double crochet clusters in the spaces finishing off like you normally would it's once you go around the other side that you have to do all the slip stitches the annoying slip stitches so that's your second cluster your corner cluster cluster and now here where we already crocheted our other half if you remember we're going to do another cluster to finish off that corner okay so that cluster's finished now what i'm doing and this is where it gets wonky and i think i'm doing it wrong but it's whatever because <laughs> it like looks fine as far as i'm concerned i chain one right because we're missing the chain here but it's a little weird because we don't really have anywhere to like i don't know anywhere so I've been going like in here and slip stitching in there. So then we have enough space in here. Maybe too much space if you ask me compared to like, no, is that similar? No, that's not. That's too much space. So it's up to you whether you want to put that chain or not. Might be a little neater if you don't. I did it in the first one, but then it just seemed a bit tight. So I don't know. Again, it's up to you. Do at your discretion. And now since we're going to the other one and it doesn't have a chain either, I just chained an extra one for that one too. And then 
This is confusing. I'm going to try to flip this slowly. So we're flipping, we're flipping. And now we have this side. So then we finish the corner on this guy. <laughs> this is difficult. Um, by doing another three double crochet cluster in there. And then from now on, we're going to be slip stitching after each cluster into this side so that we can attach as we go. And then to get back into the thing, you just wrap around to do your next double crochet in here. Do, oh, do another cluster slip stitch into the next space on the last granny square we were working on and continue that again oops oops why are my stitches so loose my back is dying i'm hunched over the camera like anyway i think we were here again slip stitch into the next space is this one cool and then we do our first cluster of the corner when you do the corner you are also going to slip stitch into this corner in the middle so again i like to do a little one chain just because it gets a little too much if it's more than one chain even though we do two chain when it's on its own but that is again up to you and voila we're back to where we started at the last one here and it looks a little wonky i feel like you'd have to um block this. I am gonna be washing it so I think that'll just fix all that. <sighs> I'm tired. Anyway, I'm gonna finish this up. I don't want to move on to the next part. It's been a good few days, no surprise there. I don't like putting things together and that is what step I am on now. I have made the back of the bonnet hopefully right. I have no idea if I'm being quite honest but I made it in a granny stitch and I followed I can't talk. I followed a tutorial, so I will link that below and just walk over briefly what I did with you here. It's just a granny stitch circle thing. So I started with a chain eight. Like this almost entire thing is exactly how the lady in the video told me to do it. So I started with a chain, I think it was eight, and then connected it. And then I did one, two, three, four, five, six clusters of three double crochet in that ring. And then the next round is an increase round so in every space between the clusters you do three double crochet cluster chain and then a cluster and then it's a chain between each of the clusters and you just do that around and then the next round apparently if you're not increasing you do four double crochets in a cluster because that is what we did me and this lady together we're buddies now and then the next two rounds were just doing that just four double crochet in each of the spaces so those are the non increase rounds and then we have another increase round which is alternating the four double crochet cluster with the increase so just four double crochet increase and when you're doing the increase it's only three cluster whereas when you're doing it non-increase it's four double crochets if you can see there if this is confusing go watch the tutorial i'm not i i don't know what i'm doing so i wouldn't i'm not gonna do a tutorial on something i can barely do myself so then every increase row from now on is going to be this alternating four cluster with the three clusters two three clusters with one chain in between and then you do two non-increase rows and then i did another increase row and then two non-increase rows and that's where i am at now and hopefully that isn't enough to be able to attach this. No, I did not weave in ends. Don't even ask. I'm hoping that works. I don't know. My last two steps are just connecting this to here and then doing the nice little bloopy bloop trim on it. How you connect here is weird. Like, it looks like it's chains, right? That's like chain into the space and then chain attach, chain into the space, attach, and then like back and forth. That's what it looks like to me. It also looks like there could be another round of something here, like single crochet or something, but I think I might leave that out. But it might be for structure, so maybe we will need it. We'll see. Okay, so this is what I did here. Is it right? I have no idea, but it looks right to me. I don't know if it'll work because... You know, these are bigger than these clusters because this is four and this is three. But I'll try it out and I'll see where it gets to. I am going to undo it now so I can show you what I did. And I think I need to chain here anyway, so I need to redo that anyway. So we're back to... Don't wreck everything, please. We're back to just being here. I'm gonna chain, uh, I'm just gonna chain one for this because I want it to be more secure at the beginning. I don't know. I don't like things to be too gappy. So I'm gonna slip stitch into this corner space of my first square. And then I'm gonna chain two and then I'm going to put it into this space of my back bonnet thing and slip stitch it in there. And then I'm going to chain two again, slip stitch into this next space. Chain two again, then slip stitch it into this next space. Ah! If I am. 
And then it's this, just so on and so forth all the way down. And before you do this, let me see if it actually works in the end. Okay, that is not working. It is puckering it too much. And then I will run out of this bonnet thing before it is finished. So I'm going to attempt to find more places. But I don't know. We'll see. Okay, so I think this is better. Same thing, only I'm putting them more up here. So I started the same way. And in this, the like... Like granny square one it's only ever gonna go in the spaces between but up here i'm now putting it alternating it'll be in the space but then it'll also be in the third double crochet of this cluster here and then back in the space again so it goes two chain into the space down here two chain slip stitch to the space up here two chain slip stitch to the space down here two chain slip stitch into the third space or the third chain what third stitch here two chain slip stitch into the space and so on and so forth the only difference there is anywhere is in the corners just to make it look more neat instead of doing two chain like I do for the rest of them I just did one for each of the ones going into the corner just because the corners are close too close together to you know treat them as if there's a cluster in between but it's also too far apart to not to like ignore them and to like stick them together so that is what I did and I think it looks neater than not doing that so up to you I'm gonna continue now and see if it works okay the back looks wrong right <laughs> It doesn't, I don't know, it's not supposed to do this, but it's like, yeah, it's a circle, so obviously it's gonna do that, but then I'm like, if it came a little bit more and was like this, then it'd be fine. So I think what the issue is, <laughs> I'm untangling. I think if I were to make this go around a little bit more, like this, then it would be okay, which means I need to, <sighs> or maybe I should've just made this smaller. I did an extra increase row because I thought that that would, that's what I needed. But I feel like it's not what I needed now. I feel like it is very much not what I needed. Because <laughs> if this was in like this, perfection. Ha, huh, what do I do? Do I take out the increase row? I'm like blinding myself here. Take out one of the increase rows or do I take out this and then try to put less spaces? Like, you know how I put more places where I put the chains into on here? And I can do less. But I feel like... I don't know, like I feel like this looks pretty nice. Like it sits pretty flat. So I think that is the right ratio that I'm doing. So I think what I have to do is go back and take out my increase row in here, which I guess is okay. Cause I didn't do a great job of explaining what I did anyway. So then I'll let you know more in depth how many rows I have and stuff. I just feel like this should work. When it goes on my head, it doesn't. I don't know either like if this is what was the right thing to do because I literally just made a circle when really maybe if I didn't increase on like these parts then it would have like been more shaped like the I don't know I really don't know this looks stupid <laughs> we'll try it out and we'll see and then we'll give up if it doesn't work just kidding haha <laughs> maybe but at least if we're looking on the bright side here I didn't sew this so it's as easy as just like pulling this all out again and everything is fine this took not a super long time so <laughs> look how fast it was to undo and now I'm going to be undoing three rows till I get back to my last increase row because I don't want it anymore. Okay, so I did the same amount of rounds just without that last increase. So now it is the six clusters, then the increase in every space, then the non-increased row, another non-increased row, the alternating increase row, which is four double crochet in the cluster, and then the two, the increase, not increase, increase, and then it's just five more rows of non-increase, and that made it more like a little beret kind of thing. Hopefully that works out in my favor. I don't really know. I'm going to go and do exactly the same way as I put this together, and then hopefully it, you know, looks better. And this is what's hopefully going to be my last try on time of this process of this last little see since it's like this it's straighter okay because it's being pulled so hopefully this works oh it's so cute okay this is better right it's not the same let's just admit it it's not the same i'm pretty sure this is supposed to be longer though actually maybe not maybe this is exactly the same it's so cute 
Okay, <laughs> now it's time to do the little bloopy bloops and I need to study the picture a little bit. It looks like there are five stitches in there, but it's like bad quality so it's hard to tell, but it's one, two, three, four, five. So hopefully that's right, I'll figure, I'll see. So I did five double crochet and then a slip stitch just into the stitches all the way around here and all the way around the bottom as well. And now the last step is to attach onto the corners in here. And I think what is done is just a chain and then working back up the way hello that I did here. So like doing the little bloopy bloops on the chain. And I don't know how long it is and I'm not gonna look, I'm just gonna make it like to hear something fun. And I'm kind of frustrated because like, I realized when doing this that I didn't make them as long as I wanted to, first of all. But I realized that I could have done them as I went around the whole thing and just chained and came back up and continued, but I did not think of that. So here we are. Oh, it's so cute. And then you could do just strippy strips. <laughs> if I did it long enough, I could do a bow. Try to do a little bow. There's so many, so many ends that I am not weaving in. Maybe I should hide it for the thumbnail. I don't know. <gasps> it's so cute. Again, this is the second of my 100 hats. Oh, I actually, I crocheted one the other day when I was too lazy to actually do this. So technically third, but... Oh, stay tuned if you want to see the other 97 and again let me know if there's any other hats that you want me to make someone has already commented before posting this video that they want me to make a tutorial on the IN hat that I made for the straight kids video so maybe I will do that maybe maybe I've never made a full-on tutorial before and I don't remember how I made the hat but maybe <laughs> anyway I'm done today I'm done tonight I'm just gonna chill now I actually think this is cute <laughs>